Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informo bringing you a new content. I finally have time to review what was released and what was presented in Basel World 2018. If you don't know what Basel World is, it's basically a biggest, the biggest convention for all watch lovers, watchmakers, and the biggest convention for the watch industry, that including all types of watches from the classical contemporary automatics to the quartz to the digital and to the smartwatch. So as you can tell by the title, small is in. Will small be the trend for 2018 and in the future or are the companies bringing back the normal size watches? What I mean by normal sizes will probably range from 36 to 40 millimeters. Those are the normal sizes. 42 and above are usually big. They look like wall clocks on my wrist. My ma The maximum I will go when it comes to watches is 40 millimeters. I do have a 40 and a half, which is the Orient Bambino. Absolute beautiful watch. So let me give you what, why small is in for the 2018 in the watch industry because a lot of these brands are big brands and they brought in normal size watches i'm talking about from 36 to 40 millimeter maximum and a lot of people who love classic watches and vintage watches are gonna love these watches and so let's begin with the big one so tudor tudor however you want to pronounce it released the black bay 58 at 39 millimeter and that is smaller than the rolex submariner or submariner because the submariner is around 40 to 41 around there and this is a big one i mean Tudor is going back to their vintage sizes the yesteryear and this Black 58 comes in black, silver, and the bronze, or it could be rose gold, one of those. And it uses a smaller and thinner caliber, the MTS, I mean MT5402, which is 26 millimeter diameter. And just so you know, it's an in house movement with a 70 hour power reserve. And this is a 200 millimeter water resistant and it's all, it comes with a steel bracelet and it will be around $3,600. The Black Bay 58, it is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to see this in person. With the black, could be a bronze with the red uh, top of the clock marking and I'm sure the uh, the loom is absolutely spectacular. I'm not gonna doubt this because this is a Black Bay. This is Tudor's best selling watch. I know there's also the Pelagos. I think the Pelagos is absolutely beautiful too, but I would love to see it in 40, uh, 38 or 39 millimeter size because I do think that is the perfect size for anybody. I actually think the 39 and 40 millimeter is the perfect size for any dive watch for anybody and the only thing I could see this is making it an official dive watch even though this is a dive watch is the crown guards it doesn't have any crown guard on it but I mean it's obviously it's water resistant and it's probably sealed and it does have the Tudor Rose emblem on it I'm not entirely sure what a lot of Tudor owners already um, feel about this because I'm pretty sure they're gonna like this and I'm certainly going to like this it's certainly cheaper than the Submariner so moving away from the Swiss is the Seiko Seiko SJE073 it's an in-house movement the dial is a waffle textured design it's 40.6 millimeter in diameter and it's costing around $2,200. It is only, we're looking at 9.8 millimeter thick. That is thin. So this is a dress watch. 
and I'm pretty sure it could also be an everyday watch. This may be the only watch you need. It has a date on the three o'clock, but this is one of those watches that when you wear it, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing it. It slips through the sleeves of your shirt, the suit, or just basically anything. You know, it, it has the Presage branding, even though it's not a Grand Seiko, but that's all right. As you know, this watch, if it has the Presage, is certainly not a watch that you can just play around with. It, it's made, it's taken to, it's take, it's meant to take seriously. And this watch is absolutely beautiful. It has the markings on it, the day, uh, the date on the three o'clock. It has a blue blue seconds hand and even has the blue presage writing on it steel bracelet it reminds me of the sarb i might actually prefer the sarb due to its price because the sarb is well now it's been discontinued uh prices went up it's around 300 dollars now 300 to 500 dollars now depending on the seller but i mean it's an absolute beautiful watch for those who like who love the 40 millimeter size this could be the watch right here and then third thing we got the Oris the Oris 65 the announcement is in the PVD rose gold colorway it's a dive watch it made of obviously st uh, steel with bronze on it you need directional bezel 100 meter water resistant so I cannot officially say it's an absolutely dive watch but due to its design I'll just call it a dive watch it comes in a 40 or 36 millimeter diameter this means that anybody can buy this watch I mean anybody from the kids from the man to the women it could be anybody it's gonna be released in April it's absolutely next month it's gonna cost two thousand dollars and the thing about this watch is that it certainly gives you that vintage look that patina look and it's it's a, such a simple watch you know and just looking at it it's one of those watches that you can wear every day because it's so versatile you can wear it with a rubber strap leather strap steel uh, bracelet NATO strap. I mean, it there's it's just a versatile watch, and if you want an everyday watch without having to go diving, obviously you can swim in this, but go diving, then this is the perfect watch for you. Now, I would love to see this watch have a, at least 200 millimeter uh, re water resistant. Now, I'm sorry, 200 meters, not millimeters and just to make it just to be safe a price like this i think it should have been 200 meters not only that it doesn't even have a crown guard i've noticed that a lot of these dive watches that, that are coming out in basel World don't even have crown guards i love crown guards because when you're wearing your watch every day you somehow hit a wall or hit something and you just never know when that crown suddenly gets um hit and then just flying off everywhere you just never know yes i do know that these are top but you just don't know i you know that crown guard is uh, to keep it safe uh, that's why it's called a crown guard and i can't wait again i can't wait to see this in store this could be a hot seller for auras um i can't wait to try it on in store absolutely i want to see how the loom is it's just i'm i'm just worried about the 100 meters Tell me what you think about this watch. You know, I'm still 50-50 on this watch. So, another announcement. We got a Omega. It is their 70th anniversary, I think, of the company. And Omega wants to uh, is, has decided to release two special editions of the Seamaster. One with this uh, chronometer seconds on the 6 o'clock position. And that's without seconds hand and then the second one has a second hand without a chronometer now this watch comes in in 38 millimeter that is an absolute perfect for a dress watch 
The Moomin is an Omega 8806 Master Chronometer and an 8804 Master Chronometer. That's for the small seconds. And the 8806 is the on the chronometer on the six o'clock position. It comes with a price at around $6,100. Are you kidding me? You can buy a used vintage or just a Submariner with that. And the Submariner has a stronger name. I don't know. I think that this watch could have been around $2,000, but no way I'm paying for $6,000. But as the title is, it's all about the sizing here. So this is an absolute beauty of a watch. It certainly is a classical. It's certainly special to Omega because if they weren't, this would have never been released. Which one would I prefer? That's a tough one. I mean, I'm going to go with the classic, the one without the chronometer hands. I'm going with the bigger uh, hand markers. That's what I like. I mean, it's a classic look and that's how it should be. Let me know what you think of this Seamaster, especially the price. I think the price is absolutely ridiculous. And so, just like the brand we begin with, we're ending it with the same brand. Tudor has released in 1926. It is basically a classical design watch. It comes in 41 millimeters. 39 millimeters, 36 millimeters, and 28 millimeters. Those are the four option sizes. So basically this watch can be for anybody. They are uh, using an ETA2824, basically uh, a third party uh, movement. And it comes with numericals and also markers. It comes in a rose gold, uh, uh, rose gold and silver colorway. That's the first one. Second one is black and silver. Third, but not least, I think is the most attractive is the blue and silver, or it could be a blue and white. But that is an absolute beauty right there. It will be around seventeen hundred dollars. Obviously, it has a waffle dial tone, and. Again, it's an absolute beauty. This is one of those watches that you can wear every day, especially if you decide to order the blue and uh, blue and silver, and the black and rose, um, the black and silver. The black and silver is for your nighttime when you want to go on a date or dinner watch, and then your everyday watch would be your blue, uh, blue and silver. So, by the size. So this size can be uh, purchased by anybody. The 28 millimeter, 36 millimeter, and 39 millimeter, and 41 millimeter. It is an absolute beauty of a watch. Now the $1,700 price, I don't know. I think it should have been starting point was $1,500. But, 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 but the the watch, the price of this watch is priced perfectly. Yes, I do know that I said $1,500, but I can see why they wanted a $1,700. Now, this is a beauty of a watch. The only thing that is going against it is the Black Bay 36. There's also Nomos. There's also the Omega Seamaster that we just talked about. I mean, it has a lot of competition. And that's gonna be hard. Especially the 58 came out for Tudor and even that GMT Tudor, the Pepsi one. Absolute beauty. And so to conclude this video, do I think that tw uh, 2018 is going to be the return of normal size watch? I'm not entirely sure yet, but it seems like that will be the trend. I do think that if it's going to be in full effect, everything's going to go back to normal size, it would be 2019 or 2020. I think it's slowly getting there, slowly. Because I'm a fan of the 38 to 40 millimeter. Because when you wear a watch, I think that the first thing that a watch should tell you is time. Time. The second is beauty. Now, if you like big watches, that's you. But I think 42 to 40, even 50 are like wall clocks to me. 
and that's something that I think that is is disappearing. Not I shouldn't say disappearing. It's slowly phasing out. I think these smaller watches or these normal sizes watches are coming in. And so let me know down in the comments of what you think of this normal size trend coming in. I will see you in the next content. Bye bye.